Hello everyone. Here is another question after a matter for proving, and the question is proved that sin theta divided by one plus cos theta plus one plus cos theta whole divided by sin theta equal to two cos theta. And for proving of it, we start from left side. So here I have taken the left hand side, and for now I have chosen the matter by making same denominator by multiplying by the denominators of the fractions making alternate so in the first fraction there is denominator 1 plus cos theta by this i will multiply numerator and denominator of the second fraction and on the second fraction there is denominator sin theta and by that i will multiply numerator and denominator of the cross fraction and by doing so i will get the same denominator on the both of the fractions and it will make easy to proceed let's see i have done that thing uh, by sin theta which is in the denominator of the second fraction i multiplied first fraction and by 1 plus cos theta which is in the denominator of the first fraction i have multiplied the second fraction and after that we have to write down in simplified form sin theta into sin theta that will take sin square theta and these two sin theta and 1 plus cos theta are taken together and 1 plus cos theta and 1 plus cos theta they multiplied and becomes 1 plus cos theta whole square and in the denominator sin theta and 1 plus cos theta kept together now these two fractions are having same denominator so we can write down as sin square plus 1 plus cos theta whole square whole divided by sin theta and 1 plus cos theta <coughs> now if you see this here <coughs> 1 plus cos theta whole square it is taking up the form a plus b whole square and <coughs> it could be expanded at uh, expanded as the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square i have done so and here in the next space so 1 plus cos theta whole square assuming or considering as a plus b whole square it is expanded as the form a square that is 1 square plus 2ab 2 into 1 into cos theta and plus b square cos theta whole square 1 is considered as a and cos theta is considered as b and this sine square theta is copied down same and on the denominator what is over here that has been copied down here same and now let's make simplified calculation <coughs> uh, okay so sine square same here one square is one plus two into one into cos theta two cos theta plus cos square theta is same over there and i've arranged these two sine square and cos square together for that we can write down uh, one for it so in the next page i've written uh, sine square plus cos square is written as one and one is same copy down two cos theta is same over there and in the denominator what is over there that has been copied down same now this one and one added will become two so two plus two cos theta and in the denominator there is same what is in the above line <coughs> now from these two any numerator from these two uh, terms 2 and 2 cos theta 2 could be taken common out and before taking common i'm elaborating how it takes see we can write down 2 as 2 into 1 and 2 cos theta is 2 into cos theta and if you see these two terms then 2 is being common over there and uh, remaining terms are 1 from first and cos theta from the second so that should be kept inside of the bracket so is taken common and inside of the bracket one from the first and cos theta from the second in the middle there is plus sign that is kept over there and now and the both of the numerator and denominator we are getting same term one plus cos theta and one plus cos theta and they will get cancelled and will remain two by sine theta now from here we have to find two cos theta so we will break it and we'll write as 2 into 1 by sine theta and 1 by sine theta is cos theta so require 
result has been obtained which is in the right hand side and here <coughs> proof complex thank you for watching this video i hope you have understood this